so now we're going to start to actually uh, look at how do we can describe data using uh, summary statistics. Uh, one of the first ones we're going to look at is what's called the average. Uh, and it turns out when we say average, there's a couple of words we could uh, be talking about. Uh, one of them could be what's called the arithmetic mean. Uh, this is what uh, most grade school kids know of uh, when we say mean or average. It means add them up, divide by the total number of observations. It's this uh, nice formula down here. Uh, we have something called a population arithmetic mean. The symbol is mu. It's a Greek letter. It's that uh, fancy looking u. And then we have something called the sample arithmetic mean, uh, which is x bar. And I'll give an example of that. Uh, that's this uh, symbol right here with a bar on top of it. Uh, and the way we calculate the sample mean in both cases is add them up and divide by the total number of observations. Uh, so, if I was uh, going to find the uh, mean of this particular set of data, uh, I'm just going to add them up. So let me do that. Okay, so I'm going to just add up the 23 plus the 36 plus the other 23. And then how many total observations do I have? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, and so I'm going to type that in a calculator and give you a number here in a second. Okay, after adding them up, I got 174, so I divide that by the 7, and I get 24.9. So the population mean of this particular group of data is 24.9. Okay, so this next one um, is actually a little more complicated than perhaps it's going to sound. Uh, it turns out when we want to do a uh, random, we can't just pick it. We have to be random, uh, and the calculator is going to do all that for us probably wondering what is he doing here. Uh, what I'm doing is I am giving each number a designation. So there's seven employees. Uh, I'm going to let the calculator tell me which one to uh, pick. Now for right now we're, le we're just learning about how to pick a random sample and uh, that sort of thing. But um, this is what's called a sampling frame. So I've now identified the population and identified a, a number designating it. Uh, I'm going to go to my calculator and I'm going to uh, go to math and I want to scroll over to probability and I'm looking for random int, random integer, so that's number five and uh, it's going to ask for an upper and a lower. Well, I, the lowest number I want is 1, the highest number is 7, and I want three numbers total. Uh, is what all that means. So I'm just going to have it do this uh, twice. Okay, so it said 6, 7, and 2. So uh, 6, 7, and 2 would be 26, uh, 43, and 36 would be the winners. And then the other random selection was 3, 1, and 7. So 23, uh, 23, and 7. Now your numbers might be different than mine. That's OK. It's more, uh, it's more useful to learn the process of getting a random number than at this point necessarily to match me. Uh, and so we're going to uh, find the, uh, the arithmetic means of these uh, samples. Uh, which goes back to add them up and divide. So, uh, let's see. Oops. Sorry about that. Uh, I want 26 plus 43 plus 36 divided by 3. I'll calculate that in a second. And then for the other one, I want 23 plus 23 plus 43 divided by 3. Okay, so uh, when I tapped into the calculator, I got an approximate um, mean of 35 for the 35 exactly for the first one and 29.67 for the second one. Um, later on, we're going to come back and talk about what these numbers have to do with the actual mean of the population.
Okay, next topic is the median. Uh, the median is what we refer to as the middle of the data. So we typically use the letter M to represent that. Uh, we are going to, uh, the process is the same. Uh, it gets interesting down towards the bottom um, as far as finding the median because uh, it depends on whether you have an even number or an odd number of observations. So we start off by putting the data in ascending order from smallest to largest. Uh, and then we count how many observations there are. Uh, if it's an odd number, uh, we simply uh, look at the middle number. If it's an even number, we're going to have to average them up. So I'll, I'll show you an example of both of those. Okay, so let's go down to here. Uh, I want to start by putting them in order. So 5 is the smallest looks like 18 is the next uh, 23 23 oh, 26 uh, 36 and 43 okay so because there's an odd number what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group them in pairs so uh, I'm going to take the 5 and take the 43 and their partners take the 18, take the 36, and their partners uh, 23 and 26. Okay, so as I've grouped them out, uh, as I go towards the center of the data, the middlemost number is the median of that particular set. So the median is uh, 23 for this group. Okay, uh, do that same trick uh, here, but now we've added an extra number, and then we'll talk about how that, what's different about that. So, I think 5 and 18, uh, 23, 23, 26, 36, 43, and 70 is the new observation. Okay, so as I start partnering them up, so 5 and 70, uh, 18, with the 43, the 23, with the 36. Okay, so we get to here, and now I don't have um, I don't have a middlemost, I have two in the middle. So in this case, the median is gonna be the average of the middle two. So I'm gonna add them up, and divide it by two and that will represent the new median of the data and that would be uh, 24.5 okay Okay, now the nice thing is, is our calculator can help speed this uh, analysis process up. Uh, so let me go to stat list, uh, sorry, stat edit, and let's type in some information here. Uh, this is from an earlier problem. If you've got information typed in and you want to just delete out what you have, um, highlight list one and hit clear and then arrow down. I'm going to warn you, if you hit delete, sometimes that will take out the entire list and we have to reset the memory. So just avoid caution on that. The other way to do that, uh, delete out of numbers, is to come down uh, once you hit stat and hit clear list, and that will also get the job done. Okay. Uh, let's type in that uh, list of 23, 30. Let's do the one with the 70. Uh, and let's just type that in, so let me speed this up. Okay, so now that I've got that typed in, uh, I'm going to have the calculator do uh, the median and the mean. Um, there's several ways to do this. Uh, we're going to go with this one. So let's go second list, go over to math, and it says mean and median. All right, so uh, it's going to say, oops need to be uh, sorry on the home screen so hit second quit uh, now do what I showed you uh, second list 
uh, and then arrow down to mean and it's going to ask for well, mean of what? Well, hit list, uh, second list, and then just choose list one, and it will tell you the mean. And then we can also have it calculate the median for us of that list. Uh, second list, math, uh, and then go to median. And then just pick the list again. Okay, so we get a mean of 30.5 and a median of 24.5. So mean of this list Okay, we're going to do that same thing. Um, we're going to get rid of the 70. And we're just going to do it with um, the original numbers. So go back to stat, edit, and we need to get rid of that 70 at the bottom there. So just hit delete. Uh, and then we're going to go back and recalculate the mean and median of that bunch. So second quit. Uh, your calculator might let you arrow up and type it in again. If it does, great. And if it doesn't, then just go back and pick median. It's the nice thing about some of these newer calculators is they let you type things in. Um, okay, so mean median of this particular uh, there we go uh, do, do, do. it's 24.8 6 and 23 okay now uh, suppose they add another person, this time that, that person lives very far away and have to add another 130 minute commute. What does that do to the, the mean and median of this? Uh, Alright, so go back to, sorry, stat edit and then at the bottom we're going to add in that uh, 130 minute commute. Uh, and then go back and calculate uh, the mean and median of that. Okay, so uh, let's see, we get oh, 38 and 24.5. Okay, now let me, let's take a look at these, these different measurements. When we added in the 70, we got a median of 24.5 and a mean of 30. When we got rid of the 70, the mean went down a lot. But the median didn't go down that much. Um, and we add in this, this extreme case, this 130 minute, the mean jumped up, but the median wasn't really affected that much. Okay, uh, That brings us to the, an idea of what's called resistance. Uh, let me put up the definition of resistance. 